you're an editor with the Off-Road Magazine. That's correct. And you're building this truck as, as a typical example of off-road trucks. And, and you're having some issues. And some brake issues have arisen. It's got a larger cam. It's not making enough vacuum. And also, when we get in some rocks on steeper trails, there's really a problem where it's not quite stopping when the truck's on real severe angles. It just doesn't have the power and the pressure to uh, lock the caliper onto the road. We're going to show the improvement from the vacuum booster to the hydro boost and how it's going to help these two issues, the tires and the camshafts. We're going to remove the master cylinder because with the tight clearance with the bar here, we're going to have to get this out of the way. A lot of off-road guys remove the uh, anti-lock brake system, which has the built-in uh, proportioning valve. On this vehicle, since the uh, ABS has been removed, they added in an adjustable proportioning valve, which we may or may not even need, but uh, it's here now. The problem with it is it does this going down the highway, which fatigues the brake line, so they should, really should be clamped up. Everything you can think of there. Yeah. One of the reasons we cannot reuse the original master cylinder is this is a two stage master cylinder. It has a large bore to shove a lot of fluid out, to move the caliper pistons out, then that goes into bypass, and then the regular pistons take over. But it's too large to fit inside the hydro boost, so we have to replace the master cylinder. Removing the Brake pedal rod clip. After we remove the brake pedal rod clip, then we have to remove the four mounting nuts from underneath the dash to remove the, the vacuum booster. Okay, we removed the last of the four mounting nuts. Now we're going to pull the vacuum booster out. Get a picture of that. Compare the diameter of the vacuum booster compared, uh, as compared to the hydro boost system. Much smaller, but still double the power. We've got the hydro boost ready to install, firewall cleaned. Ready to go through the firewall. Watch your wires. And we'll bolt it down from the back. Okay, on installation, we make sure that the pedal rod ends up on the correct side of the pedal, not on the wrong side. Lines up perfectly. Now we'll put the nuts on, we tighten it down. Now we've got the power brake in to tighten down, we're going to put the pedal retainer clip on and we'll be done underneath the, the dash. 